guys welcome back to my channel uh, for those who are new my name is Amogurawa Dudu guys thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing thank you for watching my videos guys thank you for coming back and guys I am so 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 grateful please if you're new consider subscribing give this video a like leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this recipe guys and uh, so guys the recipe is this okay we are going to cook and we are going to cook some cabbage and some beef all right so guys with me i have the onions i'm using the white and red i have uh the garlic right here i have my tomato i have the cabbage of course i have some beef and i have of course my oil cooking oil I have my cubes and I have my Roy Coral. So guys, without wasting a lot of time, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna go right ahead and put on the fire. There we go. And then I'm gonna add some oil. And then I'm gonna wait for the oil to heat, to get a little bit hot. So guys, let's wait for this oil to get hot and then we can add our onions. Guys, the reason as to why you wait for the oil to get hot uh, is because when you put the onions and uh, the oil is hot, it takes uh, a little time to uh, for the onions to cook. But when you put the onions and the oil together, you're gonna wait a little bit longer so the secret is just put the oil first let it get hot and uh, you can try if it is hot by using like this one of it you will see definitely and then you put the onions and then within like one or two minutes the onions are all golden brownish and that's what you need all right because you want the flavor of the onions so guys i'm um, um, Let's wait a little bit. Put this there because of space right there and that right there. So guys, let's try and see if our oil is good. It's hot so that you just take one piece of the onion and you can hear it guys. I'm going to put another one. There you go. You can tell now that your oil is good. So guys, you better be careful here when you're putting your onions. Just be careful little by little because you don't want to burn yourself. There you go. So within this two within two minutes, all these onions will be all cooked, and uh, we shall continue with the next step. I'm going to add the, the garlic too, so that they can cook together. This is the garlic. I'm going to go right ahead and add it. Sorry. So guys, our onions are good. 
I'm gonna go right ahead guys and add our cubes right now let me put the fire on medium And some little dry cob. guys I'm gonna get some uh, curry powder and I'm gonna add some little I'm gonna use the hot one the hot curry powder from Jamaica so I'm gonna use uh, three quarter of a spoon so amazing guys and then I'm gonna add our meat guys as you notice I didn't add no salt at all because those cubes they have a lot of salt So you can taste the salt as you continue cooking and see if it's your the, the way you like it. If you don't like you like it, if you don't like it, you can add some. If it's okay with you, then you're good. Myself, I don't like a lot of salt on the food, so that's why most of the time you don't see me adding salt. So guys, we're gonna give this meat uh, 30 minutes, and uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna uh, cut the cabbage, and this meat will be cooking. I'm gonna go right ahead and cover it, and then we can wait for like 30 minutes. I believe it will be fine. So guys, with me here, I have a piece of paper towel. I'm going to wet it, not too much. And I'm gonna put it down here on the countertop. Guys, the reason as to why I'm putting this paper towel here is because I want to put my chopping board right here and this one will prevent the chopping board from keep on moving. Alright guys. And then you're gonna get your chopping board like that and you put it here. See guys? See? So... I'm gonna get my cabbage right here. I'm gonna wash it. So guys, I have our clean cabbage. I'm gonna cut it into quarters. And this one too. And then I'm gonna cut this hard, this hard part. 
like that. And the other one, all of them. Now, uh, from here, guys, it depends what kind of the size of the cabbage that you want to eat. If you want small pieces like me, you cut small pieces. Some people will cut like this one, like four or three times. Myself, I like uh, small pieces. So, this is how I do it. Like that. I like it in stripes. Like that, guys. You can go round and round. Guys, this beef smells wow, wow, wow. Hmm. So, guys, I'm going to add the, uh, the tomatoes right now. Right now. This is so nice. Let's wait for the tomatoes to cook, guys. It smells so good. I'm going to show you when it is so much closer. I hope you can see, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. It smells delicious and it looks good. So guys, let's wait for these tomatoes to cook. Tomatoes don't take a lot of time, so we're gonna give it at most two minutes because I didn't cut them too big. And then we're gonna come and add our carrots, oh, no, our cabbage. Guys, our tomatoes are cooked very nice. I'm gonna taste the salt. Good. So, guys, I'm gonna go right ahead and add our cabbage.
and then I'm going to stir it a little bit like that. We don't want to overcook this cabbage, we just want to steam it guys. So like that and then we leave it, we're gonna cover it. Remember the fire is all on the medium, so we're gonna cover it. Uh, let's give it two minutes and then we're gonna mix it good. So let's mix this. Let's mix it up. Hmm. It smells so good. So guys, our cabbage and beef stew is all done. I'm going to eat this with chapati. And guys, you are all invited. So I'm going to turn off the fire because I don't want it to overcook. And I'm going to serve it so that I can show you how it looks, guys, on the plate. So guys, another secret, if you don't want your food, the vegetables to overcook, you have to remove them like immediately from the pot that you cook with. Because if you leave them on the pot, that if I, like for example, if I leave this cabbage here on this pot, uh, they're going to overcook and don't cover them. Don't cover them because they're still hot and they, the steam can make them... Um, uh, overcook so you, the thing is you remove them from the pot put them in a container and don't cover it immediately wait for them to cool down and then you can cover it when you're putting it in the fridge or whatever you want to and guys I have our cabbage right here it's smelling so good I'm going to serve some here so that we can eat together. Guys, here we go. Our cabbage. Nice. Smells delicious and I love it. Guys, you're all welcome. I'm going to give it a taste. I hope it's not that hot. so good guys thank you guys for watching please give this video a like don't uh, forget to subscribe if you're new and guys leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this cabbage and beef stew 
and i will see you on the next one bye